to recovery begins for the 12 boys and their soccer coach who are trapped inside a cave in Thailand for more than two weeks. The entire team is safe thanks to the brave work by divers over the past several days. It was a very dangerous rescue, but as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sean Robson tells us tonight, it is that kind of high stakes mission that divers from all over the world spend countless hours training for. We don't have any underwater caves in Buffalo, but Western New York is home to plenty of confined diving. So if we're in the canal, there's very little visibility in the canal, most of the time zero visibility in the canal, and now add the ice over the top of you, where you actually have to cut a hole in the ice and dive below it, so that diver can't just come up because of the ice, is probably, you know, I don't even want to say it's equivalent to, but it's probably the closest we're going to get. Detective Lieutenant Scott Sheehan is in charge of the Tonawanda Underwater Recovery Team. <laughs> Its job is to rescue or recover people and evidence. This year, the team has been called into action twice. Last year, the team assisted in the search that recovered the body of Buffalo Police Officer Craig Lehner. What I try to tell my divers and myself every time we do a recovery operation where the outcome is not good is that we brought that person home to the family. And yes, it's tragic, but at least they know the outcome. They have somebody that they can say goodbye to. The team is made up of 12 divers. And for each diver that ventures into the water, there's a squad of four above the surface guiding the mission. When you're underwater and zero visibility, there's nothing better than being able to talk to somebody and listen to Topside reassuring you, this is where you are, you know, this is, you're doing great. Uh, so that reassurance is huge. This right here is a dry suit and it's different than a wetsuit because they'll use it in the winter months and it keeps your skin dry, whereas a wetsuit will allow water to come in and your body heat to warm it. The average diver is only going to spend anywhere between eight and 10 minutes underwater due to the temperatures. Scott believes mental toughness and recovery diving go hand in hand. As for the soccer team that divers rescued in Thailand, he says the fact that they were children actually may have helped save their lives. Children are tough, um, you know, they, their attention spans, but the, what's good about children is that they're fearless. Heroes in an unpredictable environment. All right, at this time we're ready to enter the water. In Tonawanda, Sean Robson, 7 Eyewitness News.